the time for my handicap chase is next. And uh, this is by far the biggest field of the week so far. A field of 13 in this one. And I totally got finding Alice for Martin Lidham, El Casaida, Padraig Hogan, Tuxford, Darren Thompson, Alexandra Cornwall, Padraig Hogan, placed the Duchess, Alex Cherry, Rebecca Sledmere, David Robertson, Rose Tree, David Hooley, Velvet Sky, Craig Beckwith, Fermion Freeze, David Robertson, Settler, Craig Beckwith, Langley Streak, Graham Clutterbuck, Classic Chance, Alex Cherry and Penelope Pitstop, Martin Lidham, so that table's got the top weight and the bottom weight then as they hit off towards the first. Uh, Alex Cherry's placed the Duchess. I think it's going to be the one to lead them into it, although Penelope Pitstop is pulling for a head. The first fence is a ditch, and they're all safely over it. And there's about seven or eight of them in a line at the moment, disputing this lead. Nothing seemingly wants to go on. Place the Duchess. He's, I think, going to take on that mantle as they get to the second. Oh, they'll jump that one slowly out, jump by Penelope Pitstop on the inside, and she now finds herself in the lead from Fermi and Freeze back in third. And classic chance and Alexandra Cornwall also making a move forward. But it appears that the jockey doesn't want Penelope Pitstop to lead as they get over the third. And there's a faller at the back there, Velvet Sky has gone. So Velvet Sky out for Craig Beckwith. And has placed the Duchess will lead them past the winning post with a couple of complete circuits off the track to go and place the Duchess is in front by about a length to Penelope pit stop second and then Fermi and Freeze is third cap then to the yellow jacket Alexandra Cornwall on the outside as they take this turn in the second Alex Cherry horse is next that's classic chance El Casaida the second Padraig Hogan horse in the yellow jacket on the inside is after that one then Tuxford in the maroon with the white sleeves, the grey finding Alice on the inside in the red room colours, the purple jacket wider on the track is Rose Tree, wider still Rebecca Sledmere as they take the fourth as they're all over, they want to, are a little untidy, Langley Streak is currently the black marker in Graham Clutterbuck's Welsh flag colours and it's Alex Cherry's Scottish flag colours that are in the lead and they get to the fifth one or two slow jumps again over that one. But the leader has now settled down for a five length advantage. So Fermi and Freeze on the inside of Penelope Pitstop. Then comes Alexandra Cornwall and Classic Chance. And the El Casaida as they take the next. Which they all get over okay. And the rain coming down will make this ground a little testing maybe. Place the Duchess. Holding along in front for Alex Cherry. Four lengths clear. Fermi and Free second. Then it'll be pitched up now, drop back to the pack in third. Then the Padraig Hogan pair of Ella Casaida and Alexandra Cornwall. The grey fighting Alice, the top white getting a bit closer as well. And classic chance and Tuxford. Rebecca Sledmere. Langley Street, just the back marker at this point. Right there. Start to take the turn and place the Duchess. Got a good five length lead into the ninth. Good jump there by Penelope Pit Stops. He's going go alongside Fermi and Freeze for a share of second. Rose Tree has moved through nicely into fourth. We can find an just behind that one then. El Casaida as they take this ditch. Slow jump by the leader. I've seen it come right back to the pack now. Only got a two length lead. We're on Fermi and Free second. Penelope pitched up third. Stable companion finding Alice. He's now fourth. And the Andre Hogan pair running together as well. Alexandra Cornwall on L. Casaida. Finding Alice was slow at that one. Langley Street continues to be the back market. Settler, one more just on the track now. The second Craig Beckwith horse. He's another one who departed the race early on. And it's placed the Duchess in front. This will be the last next time round, I think, as they get over that one. And the one that made the mistake this time was Rebecca Sledmere. They can pass the big screen then, pass the winning post, and head out for one more final circuit of the Haydock track. 
and place the Duchess is in the lead. From Fermi and Freeze in second, and then Penelope Pitts top third. Rose Tree is four, and Classic Chance is five, and Alexandra Cornwall six, and then finally seven, and then Tuxford Nel Casaida, and then Settler, Rebecca Sledmere, and finally Langley Streak. They race onto the back part of the track, place the Duchess. And then an undisputed lead pretty much all the way. Comes into the 13th, clear in front. Penelope Pitstop jumped back up into second. Alexandra Cornwall is now taking much closer order. Also, a classic chance has moved through the second. Alex Cherry's horses is firming and freeze. Just been given a little bit of a breather. Tuxford is also coming into it as to his rose tree as they get over that next one where Penelope Pitstop was slow. And all of a sudden, there's only about a 10 length between first and last. And we're racing towards the final mile and the race is only in earnest and place the Duchess is now being joined and possibly passed by Alexandra Corbel. In comes Classic Chance for Levy Pit Stop Fermi on freeze. And towards the back settle is just the back marker, but no more than ten lengths off the leader. And that leader is once again placed the Duchess from Alexandra Cornwall in the second of Alex Cherry's horses is classic chance for every pit stop will land or took off in fourth and landed in third finding Alice made a bad mistake near the top weight and she's now shuffled to last but it's placed the Duchess over this ditch in the lead from Alexandra Cornwall but every pit stop classic chance then look at this Langley streak crept through the middle of the field without anybody taking much notice and has suddenly found himself in a challenging position finding Alice is finding all a little bit too much under top weight and it's placed the Duchess who leads by about and a length and a half to Alexandra Cornwall in second. Stable Mount El Casaida is now moved into third. Then Penelope pitched up there, queuing up behind that to take chances over the 18th. They go and it's placed the Duchess is kicked on in front by about three to four from Alexandra Cornwall. Fermi on freeze. Then Rebecca Sledmere. Al Casaida is trying to get into it. This is the third last, the final ditch, and the leader jumped it really well and got away from her. Rebecca Sledmere, who'd been sat out the back, moves into second. Alexandra Cornwall is third. Then Rose Tree, Fermi and freeze. Langley Streak is still making ground as well. They've got two to jump. And it's placed the Duchess who's been in the lead all the way. Comes to the second last. Gets over it. Gets away from it. Well placed. The Duchess is good. Two lengths clear of Rebecca Sledmere in second. Then Langley Streak. Fermi and Freeze after that coming down to the final fence. And it looks like Place the Duchess has probably only got to jump it. Jockey has a little sneaky look round as he comes into this final fence. He pops over it. Gets away from it. Well, he's well clear of Fermi and Freeze who's running on again into second. And with half a furlong to go, Langley Streak. He's absolutely flying place. The Duchess is taking it to me. The jockey keeps looking round. Here comes Langley Street. Langley Street's going to get up and steal it on the line. And Langley Street's winning place. The Duchess is second. Then Fermi and Freeze and Tuxford. And all the way back to the disappointing finding. Alice, it was last. And Alex Cherry must be tearing his hair out. He's not had a good start to the season. This looked like being his first really big win. And the jockey was just behaving like a complete bozo. And has got beaten on the line looking round and watching as Langley Street gets up to take it for Graham Clutterbuck place the Duchess Alex Cherry second and I'm sure that jockey's not going to be getting many more rides for that day but Fermi and Freeze third for David Robertson Rose Tree David Hooley fourth and Tuxford for Darren Thompson was fifth